Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm taking a look at just how quickly a simple off-the-cuff statement can spin wildly out of control. And today's example is Logitech. Let's jump into it. So if you're not familiar, the relatively new Logitech CEO, Hanukkah Faber, went on the Decoder podcast and made this comment. I'm just gonna ask this very directly. Can you envision a subscription mouse? Possibly. And that would be the forever mouse. So you, you yeah. pay a subscription for yeah. software updates too. Yeah, and you never have to worry about it again, which is not unlike our video conferencing services today. But it's but it's a mouse. I, I think like it's the a, but it's a mouse, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I think consumers it's a might, gorgeous, might, might perceive it's a that to be very gorgeous, different. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous, you know, <laughs> think about it as a diamond encrusted <laughs> mouse. Okay, uh, that was enough to set off some people, and I get it. I think the idea of a monthly subscription for a mouse is not something I'm interested in, nor do I think the vast majority of people would even consider it. However, subscriptions are something that many businesses are pushing. HP is working to squeeze every single penny out of the printer market with rentable printers and ink subscriptions, as if you don't hate HP enough. Uh, BMW has tried selling heated our subscriptions for heated seats outside the United States. And I'm actually, I like BMW. Um, and, but this seems like a really uncool business practice and I think would honestly negatively impact your brand. So I think they should tread lightly. But I think it's safe to say that consumers aren't that all that enthused about a subscription mouse. And with that, the corporate PR machine kicked into overdrive and took notice and is now doing damage control. Here we have an article from The Verge where they quote Logitech PR as, it's just an idea. I'll read from the article. There are no plans for a subscription mouse, said Logitech Communications head Nicole Kenyon in a statement provided to The Verge and other publications. Now Kenyon writes in response to inaccurate reports about the interview, Logitech's stance is that, quote, the mouse mentioned is not an actual or planned product, but a peek into provocative internal thinking on future possibilities for more sustainable consumer electronics. I mean, honestly, I think a fair interpretation of the CEO's comments imply that this was just merely an idea and not an actual product, even if it is a terrible, bad, no good idea. But articles about just about ideas don't get as many clicks as articles screaming, oh my God, Logitech is going to charge you a monthly fee to use your mouse. So I think this is honestly a tippist in a teapot. But I do find it interesting just how fast a PR news cycle can get away from you if you're not careful. Remember, Apple had to apologize for, I, I would characterize as a slightly off-putting ad from a few months ago. It can be fairly difficult for these companies to discern what content is going to go launch onto social media and cause a massive headache. Uh, some people wonder why CEOs are so uptight and come across with, as phony with canned talking points. This is why. And unfortunately, it's not going to change anytime soon. I think you'll see no change in how companies handle their PR. But with that, as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.